Good afternoon. I just wanted to bring you a little quick update. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to uh, tell uh, everyone that um, I went out to the one of the neighborhoods where the storm came through last night. There's a, a lot of tree damage and some housing that got damaged, and uh, but thank goodness no one's uh, life was taken here in Dothan. Uh, I do know that there was one in Tumbleton and a loss of life there, so uh, I want to say um, uh, let us keep them in our prayers. Uh, I would also like to thank the uh, city crews. I was out there and a couple of the crews that were there cutting limbs and away from the roadways and clearing the road. Been there, a lot of them have been there since midnight. I want to say thank you to them and our employees as well. Um, I wanted to, uh, to help try to clarify. I know this has been a very confusing uh, uh, a time with the orders that come out from the Alabama Department of Public Health and the governor's office. And they've done a great job with it. Uh, I know Friday that there was a uh, recommendation list that had been put together by Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth and a, and a group of uh, uh, some of the uh, legislature there and on small businesses. And uh, they did a great job with the report but I think there was some confusion in that, that those were just recommendations to the governor and Dr. Scott Harris with the Alabama Department of Public Health. They've had additional meetings today. Uh, they're going to continue to work with uh, Dr. Harris, the Alabama Department of Public Health, uh, Governor Ivey and her staff. Uh, and, and I believe that hopefully, probably by the end of the week, we will hear some kind of plans, but uh, I don't know yet. I just want to share what you I, what, with, with you what I do know. Uh, we're still under the stay at home order. Uh, I think if I had to guess, we were probably are going to be there be there through the end of the month as previously planned. Um, I want to um, reiterate just how important the stay at home order is. Uh, how important the social distancing is. The six feet apart, the small crowds, and uh, the hand wa sanitation, and when you're washing your hands as often as you can. If you're in a public area where you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel like you can get that, that safe distance, then please wear a mask. Um, uh, I think it'll be helping you and helping others as well. Um, if you look at our numbers in the area, uh, which I get uh, almost daily, uh, the two hospitals combined, our numbers are continuing to rise with the hospitalizations. And so we have to, please hear me, we have to continue to do the good work. Now I know that there are some, uh, I, get a, I get everyone's uh, uh, messages. Uh, I've seen some of the bigger stores. Uh, we are uh, checking on them anytime anyone reports anything to our office we send it to the police department they go out and check on that we're doing uh, the best we can with the staff that we have in place and going out and ensuring the safety of our citizens and we will continue to enforce what has been given to us uh, in, in that order until governor ivy and dr scott harris with the alabama department of public health changes that order uh, please be safe. Uh, we've y'all done a great job. Uh, this has been a very difficult time. It's confusing. It can be very frustrating. Our, our tempers are short uh, with each other and, and I understand small businesses are uh, suffering and there are a lot of people that have lost their job. But I care and we care and we're gonna get through this together. And as the next couple of weeks roll out and we do see some changes in the plans, please just call this office if you're unsure about what you, you or your business should do. But thank you and please be safe.